reports claim that Samsung might completely kill the Galaxy Note 7 brand going forward. Huawei announces a new smartwatch and uh, some sort of a tablet. And if you lost cellular connectivity on your iPhone recently, there's actually a fix for that. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you know, for a minute there, I thought that it was T-Mobile that was misbehaving yesterday when everybody tried to call me and couldn't. But now I fixed it. This is Paganel Daily. The official news today begin with software updates, since some of you complain about getting deals every day. Fine. Okay, Apple has just launched iOS 10.0.3, and uh, according to the update, it fixes a couple of things. Number one, bugs. Number two, some issues that cause people to completely lose connectivity. And it's funny, I actually experienced it yesterday where the phone just completely went no service, and it didn't really start working again until I rebooted the phone. Apparently that update should fix your phone, even though currently servers are crashing with it. Stay tuned for that. Other official news come from Misfit. The company garnered a lot of fame in the fitness wearable department because of two things. One, you don't need to recharge them. Number two, these were the first wearables that were fit for swimming. Now there is the Misfit phase. This is actually the company's first smartwatch, but it actually blends on Fossil's uh, hybrid technology. You have to remember that Fossil pretty much owns Misfit. So yeah, you now have a hybrid smartwatch and the price tag is actually rather compelling. You can learn more in the description. And remember all the rumors of Huawei building another Huawei Watch 2 or the Honor S1? Uh, well, I'm actually reporting on it just because I'm kind of underwhelmed. The company has just announced two new products, the Honor S1 smartwatch, which is pretty much a fitness watch. It doesn't run Android Wear or anything that we actually know of. We're gonna confirm that, definitely. But it's primarily focused on fitness. And then we have another Honor tab that's 8 inches, 1080p. Not really something special. These are products that are mostly offered for lower tier markets. So I don't even think they're gonna make it to the United States, but we'll keep you posted. Now let's move the spotlight over to the Galaxy Note 7. I'm really getting bored about talking about this, but the developments just continue to be important. First of all, because it's now available for replacement at SFO, San Francisco International Airport. Yes, there are kiosks from Samsung right there where you can just walk in with your Note 7, they'll give you a new phone, they'll move all your data, that's how Samsung is taking this. I commend this company for what they're doing, but it's just interesting that the approach has been so serious. And it is really, imagine that thing, you know, causing trouble in the air or in the middle of the ocean or whatever. And finally, the hot news today actually have more to do with the question of the day, but I obviously leave that for last. Focusing again on the Galaxy Note 7, there are strong rumors from analysts that Samsung is going to completely ditch the brand. Now, we don't think that the company is going to ditch the product. Obviously, there has to be some sort of a smartphone in the future from Samsung that provides you with Wacom digitizer technology as Samsung acquired the company, and it does a really great job at it. The question for today is for all of you. If the Galaxy Note brand dies, what should it be called? Should it be called the Galaxy Scribble? the Galaxy Tab. Um, we actually had a full conversation on the podcast, Juan did recently, uh, where we were talking about different possible names that it should have. And we would love to know from you in the comments down below, what would you recommend? And please also bring the funny ones. Friends, you know the drill if you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on parkingout.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on vesselvessel.com slash parkingout and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.